Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and what I wanted to do today was actually show off a new program that's been created by a fan of the game and a backer of the game, and that's a guy named Romanito, who put together this thing called the Ship Scale Viewer within the Unity engine. Now, uh, you know, what this program actually is going to do is it's going to allow you to see hollow table assets actually created in the game. And to give you an idea of what we've got, you know, we're looking at the back of an Avenger. There's a Reclaimer. And there's a lot more of the fleet over here. Now, I'm not sure how often this is actually being updated, and I plan on reaching out to Romanito to get some, uh, you know, more information on how long or how much he plans on updating this, how, um, you know, how he's going to uh, make adjustments, when he's going to put the uh, new ships in here. Um, but this ship or this uh, program right now is actually created uh, with Oculus in mind, so you can actually come in here with an Oculus Rift and really get in depth and kind of put yourself into this, uh, you know, little environment. Um, also wanted to give uh, Board Gamer a quick thank you because uh, his video on this is actually what spurred mine. Uh, I haven't seen this and I'm glad he did his, otherwise I may have just missed this forever. And this is a really useful tool, not only just for every backer to get in here and actually see, um, but it's uh, you know, a supplemental tool that I can use for some of my videos, uh, which can obviously help uh, you know you guys out based on the information that I can provide. So this is a really lightweight program. It's an easy download. Um, you don't even have to really install anything. It's all zipped and ready to rock. Um, but I'm a, you, I'm a really big fan of this because what it does is it kind of does a couple things for you. It gives you an idea of, you know, just the size of ships. It gives you an idea of how they compare to each other. It also gives you an idea of how things can, uh, you know, kind of, or how you can uh, almost like start to think through like attack plans if you're a pirate or start to think through uh, protection plans if you're, you know, a escort. You know, a good example of that uh, protection plan would be something like the whole E over here. I mean, this is an absurdly massive ship, and what we have in the game today doesn't really illustrate things like this. Because we know the whole series is lightly protected, but what you start seeing is a lot of different angles at which this ship could be attacked, and not a lot of protection from things like that turret up there. So that's something that I think is important to keep in mind because you can start thinking through how you're going to actually protect a ship like this. And I think it starts to highlight things that are going to be beneficial that we don't really have a real purpose for in game right now, like having an interceptor within your escort fleet. Because if you can attack somebody who's going to be coming to attack your whole series um, before they get up close, you're going to be in a much better spot. And the reason I say that is now that we can actually visualize this and walk around it, if somebody's able to get up close and do some attacking, there's a lot of potential blind spots here. For example, if you're attacking from this vector and somebody's on the other side of these cargoes, you could technically strafe around, like we've all practiced in our dogfighting in Arena Commander. You can almost use your strafing to, to attack the ship, but use that ship to prevent other people from actually hitting you. So there's a lot that we can kind of infer from uh, kind of playing around in here. Uh, but I think it can also be a, just that nice tool for you to kind of start really thinking through how you're going to do things in game. We also start comparing sizes of ships, and I think it's going to be, um, you know, there's some things that are really enlightening. For example, you know, the Constellation's one of the bigger ships that we have in game today that we can actually fly around. But look at the, or the Orion behind it. I mean, it absolutely just dwarfs this ship. I mean, it's... I mean, if we want to get really comical, um, Romanito did a nice job of putting the Merlin right next to it, um, you know, which really gives you a pretty good idea of the real scale difference here. Now, some of these assets look like they're a little bit older, and I think that's because CIG doesn't always update the hollow table until they get a little bit further in development. Um, and you can see that not every ship is in here. Like, I don't think I've seen the Prospector in here yet. Um, the Buccaneer's not in here yet. So I'm hoping that this is something that Romanito is going to continue to update because it's really, you know, a cool and useful program. And I think it's something the community is going to really enjoy using. You know, I think when we start comparing ships again, you know, I think some of the ships appear larger than I thought they would be. And, you know, we've got the metrics on the ships. We know what the size numbers say. But until you actually see them, something's kind of lost in the numbers. So, for example, we've got the Cutlass. We're all familiar with the Cutlass. It's getting a rework, but, you know, it's going to be the general size and kind of shape. You know, something like the 890 jump over here is actually um, smaller than I would have expected it to be just from looking at it. You know, it's not a small ship by any means, and I'm sure the numbers here match up with the, what's on the stats page. But looking at it, it looks a little bit smaller than I would have anticipated it actually looking. Now, granted, it's a luxury yacht, and it probably kind of fits into that category as well. But on the flip side, you know, we've got the Cutlass here. The Carrick actually appears bigger than I would have expected it to be. So those are the types of things that I really enjoy seeing. 
Um, you know, you get to also see ships that we don't really, we haven't seen a ton on. So like the uh, Crucible here is a good example. You know, you've got the 360 degree cabin up there and you can see how it can rotate to face towards the uh, scarab that's back here to actually do your repairs. You know, then there's other things that are just really neat to see, like the Reclaimer is a ship that we haven't gotten a lot of information on, um, you know, it, since its initial concept sale. But look at the size of the claw on the bottom of this thing. I mean, we know it's big. We know it's there to actually start picking up and breaking down things and get into the scavenging business. But you can just see, you know, the, si the size of the saber here, the size of that claw here, and start to imagine what you're going to be capable of actually breaking down in a ship like the Reclaimer. So... Um, I would highly suggest you guys check this out. You know, it's a uh, an easy download. It just kind of lives in a zip file, so you don't even really need to install anything. Um, it's really intuitive to actually use. And outside of just giving you ideas on making like ship purchasing decisions and I getting ideas on how you want to create your fleet and what you want to use things for, um, you know, it's just a lot of fun to get in here. And it's just something that's kind of different than anything else that we currently have. Um, so what you can expect from me using this is going to really be as kind of a supplemental tool in some of my videos. So for example, if I need to, uh, you know, get around and actually, um, you know, showcase some of the differences between a couple ships, like if I was going to compare the uh, Glaive and the Scythe, and I don't have those, I can come in here and actually kind of give you a little bit better idea of what to expect with some of these ships. So I think that's going to be it. I wanted to keep this relatively brief. It's something that you're going to see in... Uh, you know, future videos from me because I like giving you the most, uh, you know, I guess utilizing as many tools as possible just to make sure that you guys can get the best content possible. Uh, if you have questions on any of this, let me know. Um, but again, big thank you to Romanito for putting this together and for uh, Board Gamer kind of showing this off so I, you know, it got a further audience as well. So uh, questions, let me know. Otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay tuned for a whole lot more content and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.